Macy's says it won't bring back the Trump clothing line, and the national parks have a special deal for veterans today. Joya Doss is at the NASDAQ market side with those stories and more. Good morning, Joya. Good morning. Macy's has no plans to restore Donald Trump's clothing line now that the election is over. Originally, the department store chain dropped the line after Trump made controversial comments about Mexicans. But now Macy's CEO Terry Lundgren says it's not about politics, but rather about changing up the mix. He says he wouldn't sell a Hillary Clinton pantsuit either. Now, more than half of all consumers say that at least some of the presents they plan to give this year will be gift cards. That's according to a national bank rate survey. Just 27% of Americans say that they would prefer to receive a gift card over an actual gift during the holidays. All right, in terms of stock news, stocks soared once again, the Dow closing at a new record high. There are also hopes that Donald Trump will propose plans to boost infrastructure spending, drill more for oil, and also push back on some of the attacks against drug and Biotech companies for price hikes on key medications. Mylan will begin selling a generic version of the EpiPen next month. The Wall Street Journal says that a two pack of the life saving pens will cost about $300, half the retail price. Now, another company is also selling a generic version soon, and that's called AviQ. Finally, national parks and forests that charge entry fees will be free to all visitors today, which is Veterans Day. It's a way to get America into the outdoors on a day that we honor those who have fought for our country. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Joya Doss with your morning business report.